Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna talk about ergonomics. It was the second most requested video in the poll that I had before. We still have more job hunt stuff and more job hunt videos coming soon, but this was a very requested one. So this is what we're doing next. In terms of what ergonomics is, it's essentially the design of human machine interactions. And what that means on a more uh, easy to understand level is basically just making products that fit people. So the reason why ergonomics is so important is because it directly relates to the usability of the object and the safety of it. The last thing you want is for somebody to get hurt using your product, right? So it's really, really important that you think about ergonomics as much as possible. And the best way to do that is through user testing, testing actual users. So we'll get to that in a minute. So the next thing I wanna show you are these bass guitars and how body positioning is so, so important for ergonomics. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. So basically, when you're sitting down in a chair or doing anything, you wanna be in a neutral position. So neutral position means feet flat on the floor, knees at roughly a 90 degree angle, elbows at roughly a 90 degree angle, maybe a tiny bit more, and really, really nice and comfortable. You want an S curve to your spine so it's nice and you know stable, no, no like hunching over or anything like that, no hyperextension in this direction. Nice and comfortable, right? Now, when you're playing a bass guitar, for example, you want to be in this position. Or you know, if you're sitting at a desk, you want to design products that allow you to stay in this kind of position. Now, let's see if that's possible with the first bass that I designed. It's it's not. So, if we put this here, um, let's tilt the chair a little bit so it's a little better. Now, if we put this here, it's not really possible for me to maintain a neutral position. I can lean forward a little bit and twist my body, um, and that helps, but now you'll notice that my wrist is at a pretty extreme angle here. This is gonna lead to carpal tunnel, not good. Another thing is that, you know, this twisting thing might not seem like a big deal, but you have to take into account the fact that, you know, you're typically gonna play bass for, you know, half hour, hour, two hours, three hours if you're playing live. So if you're twisted even just a couple of degrees, it's really, really not good. You wanna avoid it. And it's the same thing with like an office environment or whatever else. So this is very important for ergonomics. Now, this is not ideal. I can sort of orient myself in a slightly more comfortable position here. Um, Another thing that you can do is you can use what is called the classical position. So you can put this base on the other leg. But what I need to do here is I need to lift this leg way up and this is way less than 90 degrees, very acute angle, not good for the knee. Uh, my hip flexor is sort of under a lot of tension and stress because of that. Everything's sort of not in the best spot. I'm sort of splaying this leg out in a weird way, but upper body is a lot more straight now, or at least better, it's not perfect, right? So this was the first base that I built, and this is what most bases are sort of designed like. They're just not very considered in terms of ergonomics. The next base that I built was a lot better, although not perfect, which is why I'm building a third one. Let's look at that next. So there are a lot of design changes that I would make in addition to ergonomics changes with this. I think it's pretty good, but it's definitely not perfect. So let's talk about the ergonomics first. Let's try the standard position. This is a lot better. I don't have to lean forward nearly as much, right? I can stay in a much clo much closer to a neutral position. Uh, my wrist is not nearly as bent. I'm able to bring the base closer to my body, which is a lot more comfortable as well. So this is much better. And the way that I did this was a couple ways. There's much, much more dramatic contouring right in here, okay? That's probably the biggest thing. So I can bring the base closer to my body. Um, there's a huge cutout or a cutaway right here, which helps a lot as well. And then in addition to that, there's this hole here. A lot of people think it's a handle, but it's not, although I guess you could use it as that. It's actually an anchor point for your hand. Uh, your, the palm of your hand can sort of rest right here. And also when you're playing, um, it basically keeps these tendons open. And my tendons are not pressing against the body of the base, which helps a lot. Um, what's even better than this is to use what is called the classical position again. So that's even more comfortable. So this, in my opinion, is even more of a neutral position, neutral body position. It's a lot better. I think the biggest thing that needs to change, and I'll show you some of the prototypes, is that this needs to be tilted up so that it can come closer to the body and I don't have to reach so far to get to these uh, other frets over here. I don't know if you guys can even see them. They might even be off the camera. but. 
I think this is getting close. So I want you guys to get a sense of how many prototypes I go through uh, when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So let me grab a couple. So here they are, there's a lot of them. I built many, many of them. I think this is the latest one, so look at this last. This was one of the first ones, one, oh, they're actually numbered. How smart of me, one, two, three. And these are probably just like the reject piles. I'm not gonna go through all of them, we'll just go through three. So, let's look at number one. Now this is just the body. And this honestly is not much better than the other one. Uh, it's, a, it's sort of at a similar angle. What I'm trying to do is get this to be at more of a 45 degree angle. And one way to do that is to take material away from here. Um, and another way to do it is to basically add material here so that basically it sits more like at a 45. So that's one. Number two. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, but this thing is really, really ugly. Okay, it's a very ugly shape, but this is a pretty good solid 45 degree angle so that when I have the base neck here, it'll be good. This will be pretty straight and I'll be able to play comfortably. So that's two. Three is basically improving on it. I added a little uh, little shark face here because I don't know, I have a sense of humor, I guess. And uh, well, whether you think it's funny or not is another thing. But you know, here is a, a much more comfortable body position. We have this nice 45 degree angle, really, really nice. So that's the basic silhouette. Now we need to add some contouring to it and that's what this design was. So if we look at this guy, we have some interesting contouring on the back. We put the hole in again this time and uh, we have this cutaway. And I know that this is a really rough model, but it's sort of a good way to get a sense of what's going on here. And this still has that 45 degree angle, which is so nice. It feels really comfortable. It's really molded to my body. And this is just a really, really nice body shape. Very, very comfortable. By the way, I actually have a new channel called Honest Unboxing that I started with my buddy Mark. It's a lot more casual, it's sort of jokey, and there are a bunch of memes. It's much less serious, but if you wanna check it out, you should totally do it. I'll link it in the description. Also, if you're not subscribed, you should totally subscribe. It helps me out, it helps the channel out, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. One more thing that I forgot to mention that's really important when it comes to ergonomics is balance. So balance is really important because the way that the weight is distributed will play a big role in how comfortable it is. So for example, with a bass guitar, if you have something that is overly balanced uh, towards the headstock, towards the neck of the instrument, it'll start to pull down and then you'll have to support the weight of it with, with this hand, which is not good. Whereas if it's sort of leaning more towards this end of the instrument, where the, where the uh, right hand is, it tends to work a lot better and support itself a lot better because it just sort of like sits nicely in your lap. And this applies to a lot of other things, especially uh, wearable devices that fit on the head. I did a review of the Oculus and essentially how, you know, it really does not balance well because it's so, so front heavy and it's basically pulling all of your weight down and forward. And, you know, I'm not knocking the industrial designers on that. I know that that was a technical constraint. Like they probably weren't able to add a counterweight or move the electronics to the back. They had to have all the electronics in the front like that. I'm not knocking them. But the reality is that you need a well-balanced device. And that's one thing that's really interesting about balance because you would think that adding more weight to something would create more tension and pressure, right? Like pushing down on your body. And that's true, but you can add a counterweight to something like a VR headset, for example, and that actually makes it more comfortable as you move your head around. It doesn't sort of push your head forward and down. And that's really an interesting thing to think about as you're designing something. You're not going for lightweight necessarily, you're going for comfort, which I think is important to think about. So anyway, guys, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe, comment if you liked the video or if you didn't like the video and if you think I could do a better job, leave a comment about that too. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm always looking for new video ideas, so you can leave a comment about that as well. And thank you so much for your time.